Hello everybody, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and this is my grocery haul for this week and probably next week because my life is going to be super busy. But I did a couple weeks worth of groceries and I went to a few different stores and I'll show you what I got. We will start here. I went to, it's a store called Troyer's here in Ohio. And they're, um, it's an Amish Mennonite type bulk store. But they have trail bologna. And if you've never had trail bologna, I don't know. I think it's delicious, but I also grew up on it. It's, um, it's a ring sausage. It's like a spicy bologna. It's good. Not spicy like hot, but just spiced. And then I bought some cheddar garlic cheese to go with it. I also picked up some cinnamon sticks, and this is how they sell a lot of their bulk items. But I picked up some cinnamon sticks to go with an order of tea I bought. This is a tea, uh, Republic of Tea. It's a little expensive, but it's definitely worth it. And this is hot apple cider. It's really good. It's an herbal tea. It's caffeine-free. I tend to drink it at night, cinnamon and clove, and then I'll put a cinnamon stick in it. But that was like $10, and I ordered it online, so it was $15, because my store didn't have any. I get it at World Market. But that was my treat for fall. All right, so these will be probably breakfast. Not this cheese, um, some other cheese, but the trail bologna. Um, went to Aldi. I got more Parmesan cheese. I needed some. I'm making meatloaf for lunch this week with mashed cauliflower, so I needed some more Parm. This is what I use instead of breadcrumbs or pork rinds. I use Parmesan cheese as a binder with eggs. Um, my typical pepper jack and extra sharp cheddar. I just love to have this cubed in my refrigerator for quick snacking, but or I take it for breakfast. A uh, pound of butter, two creams for coffee, one for home, one for work. Um, these aren't the best or most ideal for me, but they are sugar-free, and I've got a bit of a cold, and so I need just some juice-type items. Oh, I grabbed two more of these pork bellies. Guys, they are delicious. They're pre-cooked. They're sous-vide, and I'm going to be having an uh, upcoming video. I got a sous-vide machine to try. So all you do, and it's a pretty big piece, let me see how many ounces, it's 12 ounces, so that technically is four servings. You slice it thin like this, and then I skillet fry it, and it gets crispy like bacon. Oh, so good. So I'm going to start stocking up, because I don't know how long Aldi will carry it. So I'm going to start buying them two at a time and throwing them in my freezer, because they're really good, and they're a nice, fast meal for me. Um, I didn't have frozen just cauliflower florets, so I got two of the rice cauliflower, and I'll cook these, mash them up and with butter and sour cream, and just make some mashed cauli. Um, I also got some shredded parm for who knows what. Pork rinds like normal, and then I needed two sweeteners, one for home and one for work. And then I grabbed some thyme. These are 95 cents. Onion powder. Parsley, I got garlic powder at the Dollar Tree. I need to make some more seasoning. I'm definitely out of, actually all my seasonings, but I want some ranch for sure. So I needed some stock up on that. So that is it. Tomorrow, this is Saturday. Tomorrow we will make, pa, we're going to make two meatloafs for sure. And maybe some type of chicken. And then I can just rotate for the next two weeks where the lunch is what I want to take depending on the day. And that way I won't have to worry because I'm working next weekend all right i'll be back all right guys we are going to make beef stew and meatloaf this week for the next actually two weeks worth of lunches possibly if i can get two weeks out um this is just some beef stew i got at target so i'm going to do a double batch of the stew meat now i have to work tonight at my next or my other job so what i'm gonna do is um put this in on high and it'll cook on high for about four hours now I would normally put beef stock in but I'm out of beef stock so I used a couple beef bullion cubes Oops. does anybody else have a humidity issue where everything gets all extra chunky I'm putting in some minced onion and some Montreal steak seasoning um, it just has everything that you would need in a stew. Towards the end, I may add a vegetable to it, but for right now, I just want to cook up 
this meat. And it's gonna take about four hours on high, and that's it. Set it and forget it. Um, I may put, at some point, some butter in there because I'm gonna add cream cheese to make it a little more gravy-like. Um, and the next step, I'm letting my beef, my 49 cent organic beef, come to room temperature, and we're gonna make meatloaf with that. And then that should be the big cooking. And then I'm gonna make mashed cauliflower. And then at some point I need to make biscuits to go with the stew. And I'll just put it all in the freezer. We'll be back. It's meatloaf time. So right here I have two pounds of ground beef and some garlic. We're gonna add some Dijon mustard. I love mustard in my meatloaf. It just brings a nice tang to it. A um, couple tablespoons, I think, would be good for two pounds. I have dried, gar um, dried onion. The reason I like to use the dried, it kind of absorbs since we're not using breadcrumbs in here. And then I have, oopsies, I just spilled it. We'll get it in a second. I have two eggs going in. Um, these are going to be our binders since, again, we don't have bread, and bread is definitely a binder. Throwing some steak seasoning in here that I spilled. There's a lot, but there's also two pounds of meat, so we kind of want to keep that in mind. Um, this is heavy whipping cream. It's going to help keep it moist and add just a little bit of fat to it. And I'm using about three quarters of a cup to a cup of Parmesan cheese, because that is going to be our one and only binder, if you will. And what it's gonna end up doing is absorbing some of the extra fat and, um, you know, making it so it doesn't fall apart. Here's our pan. I'm not gonna use a bread pan. I'm gonna form it on this, but we gotta get in here and mush it together. I know it's gross, but, and it's cold. I thought I got it to room temp, but that was not the case. Um, but you really wanna get all of these ingredients combined together, and it doesn't matter. We're gonna be using our hands to form the loaf anyway. If I had some bacon, I would totally lay bacon over this, but I don't this week, I forgot it. Well, I guess I didn't forget it, I didn't really write it down. Um, you could add any seasonings that you like. Obviously, if you weren't going keto, you could um, add breadcrumbs to it. But since we are not going keto, we're going to do this. Now, it's all mixed together. What we're going to do is form a loaf over here. This is a big meat loaf, but it's going to be for a couple of weeks of meals for the freezer and yeah we want to see if we can slide it over here so you can see a little better so I'm just really kind of evenly loafing it I feel like if you cook it in a bread pan it's too thick and so you end up oh temperature's ready you end up um, having to overcook it to get the middle cooked so I like to do mine a little flatter, and that way it cooks evenly, and I'll get plenty of servings out of that. So, this is getting ready to go into the oven on 350 for probably 45 minutes, and when I come back, it will be done. Okay, so I have my rice cauliflower. I buy this at Aldi. Just, I have two bags in here. You microwave it. <coughs> Till it's cooked and then what I do is I put it in this this is a cheesecloth from the Dollar Tree um, and I take out all the liquid see all that that's coming out of here and I just keep squeezing and squeezing that's why you get runny mashed cauliflower all right and then I'm gonna put it in a pan and whip it up I heat it up it's about a couple tablespoons of butter, a couple tablespoons of heavy cream, and about an ounce and a half to two ounces of cream cheese. 
And I melted that down a minute ago. I'll get rid of the noisy spoon. Now, this is what it looks like after you bring all the liquids out. It's pretty dry. See, I got all the liquid out, most of the water out. Cauliflower is a watery vegetable. Oops. You might want to do that over the sink. What is that? Now, I need to bring it back up to temperature. Um, and put more cream in it. I can already tell it's a little dry. But that's part of the fun. Or maybe I'll put butter in it. Yeah, let's do butter. Part of the fun of this is you just get to mix up what you like. Now we need some salt and pepper because I did not add any of that. You could add like a ranch dressing to this or like a dry mix that I make. Just read your ingredient labels. Lots of pepper. And then I'm gonna let it cook up. And once it's back to heated, I'm gonna add, um, I'm gonna whip it up. But I'm putting cold butter in here. So it'll take a few minutes. And then I just have my mixer. And I'm just gonna whip it. And I will show you the finished product. You don't wanna to listen to me whipping this up. Yeah, I'll probably add the butter and maybe a little more cream to it. All right, guys, here's phase one of the two-week freezer cooking that I'm doing. I have meatloaf, and I have like a mashed cauliflower. So that's going to go in the freezer. I have five of these, and I got these containers at the Dollar Tree. Two for a dollar. Um, they're great. I like the portion. I don't necessarily want all my food touching all the time. Um, and I'm only leaving them in the freezer for two weeks. But I think they'll be fine. So like I said, I have five of those. And then I have no sugar added ketchup, which I like ketchup on my meatloaf. And these little tiny containers from Tupperware. Which have your measurements on the side. Milliliters and ounces. I'll just put like a tablespoon of ketchup in. Put the lid on it when I go to work. Take this out of the freezer and then I'll heat it when I get there. So these are great little containers. You can also get them at the Dollar Tree, but I had those, so I'm going to use them. So that's phase one. The beef stew is still cooking. <clears throat> and then I need to make some biscuits. And last thing up, I got four stews out of the two pounds of beef cooked down. I threw some green beans. And I just used the broth and threw some cream cheese in there just to give it, I don't know, a little viscosity, if you will. And then I made some biscuits. These are called Soppin' Biscuits uh, by Christy Sullivan Recipe. And for breakfast, some cheese and meat. I only have a week's worth of the trail and cheese for breakfast. Actually, I do have one dinner to take with me. So I have my biscuits getting ready for the freezer. These three stews will go in the freezer. This will go in my lunch tomorrow. And then I have options. I may make some more stuff this week to stuff my freezer because uh, life is getting busy. I hope this was helpful and see that you too can do keto for one. All right, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.